You can tell in prize givings the answers to the two most important questions that I was ever asked in my life. What drives you on? And who are you dancing for? Great questions for failed relationships, great questions for leaders, great questions for schools. And prize givings have always shown me whether what this school is dancing for are the academic escalators as the main highway, or whether the purpose of education in this school is to prepare young people to give more and get more from their lives. Well, I think what I was trying to say to the head teachers of the independent sector is that they have done a fantastic job in many, many cases in building the character and the resilience and the emotional intelligence as well as the academic achievement of, uh, of this sector and of the young people who've gone through them. Uh, and that we need more partnerships between the independent and the state sector in exactly that area. Uh, there are some great things going on on the academic swap shopping um, and there are some marvellous evidence of both, the, uh, both sectors learning from each other. But actually in places, particularly in places where we are uh, rather outlying, I've just been talking to uh, some of the Norwich schools, uh, there's a real argument for pulling young people together from schools on the hill and schools in the ditch schools in different circumstances with their young people to help tackle community issues together. Lying on your deathbed, what will be your answer to the question as to what drove you on? It might have driven you on that the independent school sector, frankly good news stats, contributes nearly 12 billion to the economy, that it saves the treasury 3.6 billion in tax revenue. It may be about the economics and the entrepreneurial effort, but I suspect that for the vast majority of the heads in this room, and those I know well in this sector, they're driven to dance for a bigger cause and a higher purpose. Immensely important in the private sector to balance the books, to create the wherewithal, to produce the incomes and jobs and the reinvestment and the stewardship. And you could hear in Stringer's voice the pride of what he'd built. But even more in this sector, the pride and the importance of building the excellence that you achieve, which comes from the independence of thought, the freedom of movement, the creativity, the innov innovation, the dare to be different, combined with the rigour and the resources to develop the values and the characters that build a better society, a more tolerant community. I'm very involved in a campaign called Step Up to Serve, uh, which the Prince of Wales launched last year with all three party leaders committing to get 50% of all young people involved in some form of community service, volunteering, of a meaningful sort by 2020, from the ages of 11 to 20. So starting quite young and going right the way through on a social action journey. And this was, if you like, the first volley to the independent sector to say, you do so much already, could you do more in partnership? Could we help Duke of Edinburgh award scheme to get up to their 500,000 that they need to get to? Could we get scouts to double their numbers? What could we do more on police cadets and army cadets? And all the ways in which young people can contribute to their community, some of which needs adult volunteers, which we're very short of, so what are they doing to help us get more? Um, but often it's about young people's individual passions which fuels this sort of work. So that was the call to arms. The whole way in which we're running the campaign is through a series of pledges. So, you know, the Prince of Wales will pledge and the Archbishop of Canterbury will pledge and the Prime Minister will pledge and all of them retweet each other's tweets and it's all pretty good stuff. But actually, in the end, you need a combination of cafetiere and percolator. So you need not just to drive down the pledges, you need to meet the pledges coming up. And everybody who's got their hands on influencing young people, young people are the greatest 
change makers in this arena. If they want to get involved, if they believe this is important, if they think this is a cool thing to do, uh, then incredible what can happen.